Hi, everybody. My name is Justina, and I'm the founder of Women in Blockchain Canada, and I'm going to be doing several educational videos on how to use a sniper bot. I did one on how to use it on Solana, and I'm going to also teach you guys how to use it on EVM. Uh, so this one specifically runs on the base chain. So if I click uh, EVM bot, I'm going to open on Telegram, and here I have it open on my Telegram. And Gemak DAO has created several products that you guys can use to make sure that you can manage your risk. I know there's other bots out there, but I'm going to focus on this one here because I like using it personally, uh, and that's my choice. Uh, so I will be going through that. What you want to make sure is that you also, you know, store your private keys in different locations so you safeguard your wallet. And another... So what's going to happen is you are going to get your wallet address. So I have here my wallet address. And what I would suggest is that you fund it, of course, because you end up having nothing in this wallet when you start. So what I did is I actually funded it from my MetaMask and then I send my money over here. And as you can see, it, my wallet currently has uh, around $70 worth of Ethereum. And I can actually go out as well. And I'm going to show you how you can use this bot to buy different coins. In this case, I'm actually, you can, you know, you can buy Brett, but I'm going to use Gamak since I am using their bot. So I see it's down 14% on the day. I like red days because that's probably a good day for me to buy. And it's showing me the address. But the thing is, guys, as you can see here, that is an address that currently exists on Ethereum. So I this what I'm seeing right now is actually I cannot buy it on uh, on base. I'm not really seeing it on base. I'm seeing here on AVAX, Arbitrum, Optimism, and Solana, and I'm not seeing it on base. So actually, I can't buy it on base. So for the purposes of this video, I will be showing you guys how to buy bread. So let's get started with that. The thing is, is that you can make a lot of money buying memes, but the problem is you can also lose a lot of money. And so my recommendation is to use a bot like this so you can actually manage your positions. I go through that in the educational video that I did on Solana. Uh, this wallet works differently. So I found it with $70. So now let's say I hit start and I would like to buy Brett. And as you can see, once I put in the Brett contract address, I'm going to do that again anyway. It's checking token details and it's going to show me the information and I'm one while I wait for it to load, as you can see here, I can buy 0.1 ETH worth, but I don't want, I don't even have that much in my wallet. And, you know, you can buy, you can enter an amount to buy. So I'm going to do that. So I have 0 0.022 ETH. I'm going to enter 0 0.01 ETH. And as you can see, I'm able to very quickly buy it. And you can actually select a limit order to. So that means I can actually select to buy it if it goes lower. So let's say I want to buy it 10% cheaper. So it is now saved and I can actually buy 0 0.01 worth of ETH, which is going to be 204 Brett at the time where it's 15 cents. It's currently 16.77. So I'm going to wait for that drop and then I'm going to be able to buy it. And the same thing can go through selling. Uh, you can literally, you know, put in a token address, click sell and do the same thing. Uh, so I, you know, I might just go through that as well. I'm actually going to buy uh, Brett currently, but I'm going to enter just an amount to buy. And I'm going to put 0 0.001. I'm going to see what happens, guys. So it's not doing anything. So I'm going to, so here's an important thing is you have to start it again. So I'm going to do that, paste in the contract address. It's checking the token details. It's going to give me that information on Brett. And here, what I can do is basically put in the amount I want to buy at the market price. So you can buy it either at market or you can buy it as a limit order. 
So I'm going to put in 0 0.001. And it did it. So as you can see, you can, you can buy at a price where you think it's going to go down and you can catch it at that price, or you can buy it at the market price. And I just showed you how to do that. And for selling, you would do the same thing. You would click sell, you would put in the contract address and the amount. If you have any hesitations, you can rewind this video and you can see that I click start, then I click enter my specific amount because I don't have 0.1 in this wallet. I only funded it with $70 worth of Ethereum. I put in the contract address, I put in the amount, or I want to limit buy. I want to buy it a little lower. And same thing for selling. Now that I bought Brett, if I want to sell that, you know, uh, that coin at a higher price, I can click start. I can enter the contract address again. I'm going to click sell just to show you guys for the purposes of this video. And what we're going to do next in this video is go through bridging. So just give me a moment. It loaded up the token details and I can click sell 80%. I can enter the amount to sell or I can click limit sell. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell 30% when it goes up 30%. And this is an amazing way for you to manage your order. So you can put in orders like if you want to mag if you think the coin's going down, manage your risk. If you think it's going up, sell at a higher price and make a profit. So there you go. So I showed you guys that. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bridge because probably some of you use uh, D bridge or Orbiter to move your money from one chain to the next. So you know I haven't done this before, but I'm going to try. And what I'm going to do is click start and click. Um, basically bridge multi-chain. So select destination. I want to take this to Ethereum. I'm going to bridge um, max amount to bridge point two. Bridge functionality powered by uh, stargate.finance. Select enter ETH amount to bridge. So I'm going to basically put point zero one. And it actually already moved it. That's how fast it was. I love it. And it is going to, well, it's bridging it now. It says it can take up to 10 minutes. As you guys know, ETH is a chain that takes more time because there's a lot of people doing transactions on it and it's more expensive. So that's just the price you pay. But I'm pretty sure if you were going from ETH to another chain, I think it will be faster. The good thing about this is it's probably cheaper than the protocols you use it. So you may want to try it out and you can do it on your phone. So that's pretty amazing. You, It's not as clunky as, you know, doing an interface like MetaMask and having to be on a desktop or having to be on your phone and trying to use MetaMask on your phone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this session where I teach you how to use this bot on base chain you know, how to manage your risk. If you are doing memes on base, because I know a lot of you may be doing that. So you want to make sure you put limit orders. If you think those memes are also going up, make sure you take some profits. And then if you want to have a moon bag, you can do that. None of this is for financial advice. It is for educational purposes only. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And I hope to do more educational sessions to make sure that you're informed on how to manage your wallet, snipe, manage your risk, on your different orders and also bridge your assets. So if you have any comments, let me know in the chat below. I will be posting all the links also in the description and stay tuned for more videos.